What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be talking about Lexus. So the Lexus brand has just filed patents in the United States for a brand new vehicle that's going to be called the Lexus TX350 and the Lexus TX500H. Now this kind of tells us that in one to two years this is going to be a brand new SUV. And in today's video we have a bunch of information about what, what it's gonna look like, uh, what kind of features it'll have, and what kinds of cars that it'll it will rival. So stay tuned. Before we get into anything, I just want to say one of my predictions. I think that the Lexus TX, what the T is going to stand for is a uh, three row and then X for crossover. This is most likely going to be a three row crossover, uh, a little bit more affordable than the Lexus LX, which is obviously around 90 to $100,000 for a new one. And this one is going to be competing with the Escalade, uh, Navigator, uh, things like that. Also, as you can see on screen here in a recent interview with the council chairman of Lexus, uh, they did an interview and he did say that this, he directly pretty much said that Lexus could really use a direct competitor, three row, a large size SUV that would compete with the Lincoln Navigator and Cadillac Escalade. Now you might be wondering what is going to happen with the rest of Lexus's cars. So pretty much uh, what's going to happen with the RX is in 2022 or 2023, there's going to be a completely new redesign of the RX. Uh, as well as the NX is going to be redesigned a little bit earlier than the RX probably in 2021 next year. Now what is going to happen to the aging Lexus GX? There are actually rumors that the Lexus GX after the 2020 or the 2021 model year is going to be axed. That is right, we are going to lose the legend. I'm going to be so sad if this is actually true, but there are rumors suggesting that the Lexus GX is going to be killed off forever and the Lexus LX is the flagship the highest most expensive SUV that Lexus offers this one is also aging and pretty outdated now and they definitely need to redesign it soon don't worry this one is most likely not going to be killed off but Lexus uh, suggests that there actually are rumors that they're going to make a new version completely redesigned version of this LX 570 called the LX 600 which is actually going to ditch the V8 engine that it uses right now and use a hybrid version or a twin turbo V6 engine. There's also a new Toyota Highlander that is supposedly supposed to be revealed in 2021 so it's probably going to be based on that exact same platform just like it does right now. And supposedly the Lexus LX 600 is going to be a huge step up from the current one, a lot more luxurious. It's actually not even supposed to, uh, it's not meant to rival the Escalade, Navigator, uh, things like that. It's actually supposedly supposed to battle the Bentleys and the Rolls Royce. That's right, they're trying to make a very huge upscale high-end SUV uh, and the LX 600, but we'll have to wait and time will tell us if all of this is true or not. And also, last but not least, we did also a couple of months ago get trademarks for a new vehicle called the Lexus LQ. This is going to be pretty much a Lamborghini Urus fighter, a very expensive, very upscale and high-end uh, sports SUV with a lot of horsepower and it's going to uh, go after the Lamborghini Urus, uh, things like that. Okay, so now we've talked about all the SUVs in Lexus's lineup and the future of it, and now we're going back to the TX. So where is this going to slot? I think it's going to be the same size as the GX since this is the SUV that they are most likely thinking about killing off. So in the end, you will have the UX as the smallest SUV, which I'm going to be honest, I really think the UX should have never happened. It's really, it doesn't even sell that well anyways. It looks nice, but it doesn't sell that well. It's kind of pointless. But anyways, after the UX, you have the NX and then the RX and the GX, which is going to be killed off. So the TX is probably going to replace the GX and then right after that, you will have the LX and the LQ as the high highest selling models. Now I think this is a really good idea to replace the GX with a more family based 7 row SUV called the TX because the GX has a lot of off road capabilities and I think 99% of Lexus buyers don't even really care for those capabilities uh, which is why the GX uh, doesn't really sell as well. Okay now finally for the engine options and you know, design-wise of this feature, expect like a Highlander or Lexus GX sized vehicle. Uh, and as far as the pricing of this car goes, it's most likely going to be about fifty-five to sixty-five thousand dollars, and probably go upwards from there uh, based on your options uh, and all of your things like that. And again, none of these things are confirmed; these are just my predictions and what I'm assuming from what we have so far. And I think it's going to be an inline-four turbo. 
uh, a version for the base model around probably 300 to 350 horsepower and then for the highest version which is going to be the lx 500 h you're probably going to be looking at a uh, inline four hybrid engine with about 400 to 450 horsepower and as far as the platform of this car goes it is not the tx is not going to be a body on frame vehicle like the outgoing Lexus GX is actually going to ride on the new TNGAK platform, which pretty much all of Lexus's uh, lineup is on. The uh, ES, even the Toyota RAV4 and Camry are on this platform, and the TX will join this platform once it is released in about 2022. That is the prediction of the release date of this vehicle. And that pretty much is all the information for the new Lexus TX350 and the TX500H, which is going to be hopefully released here soon and also the, all the information about the rest of Lexus's lineup and the future of their lineup, and that pretty much covers all of it. Thank you guys so much for watching, like and subscribe if you're new and if you enjoyed, and have a great day.